In this video, I will talk about user stories and how to write them properly and what is a user story which is ready for development. Before talking about user stories, it makes sense to talk about the backlog. If you are the product owner or your customer or your customer and a product owner, your main place where you will be working is going to be a product backlog. Consider product backlog as a notebook where you create sketches of your ideas. Uh, in the backlog, the story can even look like uh, simply like create post categories with the name and then some just some small description saying I'd like to have uh, post categories and everything you have in mind regarding this specific feature. For example, you ju you just write it down for yourself if you're not completely uh, if you are not ready to completely. Uh, explain what needs to be done here you can just leave here sketches of your thoughts for yourself for you to get good to get back to this story a little bit later and finish it and make it ready for development so if you know that you want people to be able to create uh, post categories uh, you just give your um, yourself some uh, sketch ideas to be able to uh, put together a complete story then like um, many posts um, uh, one post one post can be several categories um, images images in a post privacy so I know it is this is a the sketch of my thoughts uh, this is the main three points I was thinking about while wanting to create uh, create post categories in this project I'm not really sure how to write down it yet but I just gave myself uh, sketches of my thoughts and, I, and I'm leaving this story in my backlog because I will get back to it uh, later I will groom my backlog I will finish my thoughts and when I am ready and when I want to finish my thoughts I will open this story, I will look at the sketches of the ideas I left for myself and uh, now for, say I'm ready, I'm ready to create a story and properly created story should contain uh, a persona or a role who gonna be, who's going to be using the functionality, uh, what you want to do and the result, uh, the expected result of the action. So it's going to be like uh, I as a role want to do what in order to result this is basically the formula for properly read and use a story and under the user story you give people the definition of done the specific criteria which when accomplished and when met uh, will mean that the story is actually complete if those criteria will not be met then uh, the story is not complete uh, so that's what you want to do. That's basically your formula. That's that's your sketch for the story. Now say we're talking about the category. So I as um, say vendor Let's say we have the, the kind of role in my project want to uh, Want to what I want to create multiple categories uh, in order to advertise different products, different products, right? Let's say we are talking about. Uh, let's say we're talking about the marketplace. Uh, sorry. Let's say we're talking about the marketplace where people will post will be posting their products, and people can be selling different stuff like electronics. Uh, clothes, uh, shoes, whatever. And this story is about people creating different categories and why they want to create a different categories. So you have to be specific about the role who have access to this feature, what is the feature and why people need it. Because basically every feature is a solution to a problem of your, um, of your end users. Of people who, who you are building this mobile application for or people who you are building your website for and you have to translate this vision to your development team so when they create a technical solution they know exactly who they created for what they are creating and what is the expected result and now for example the definition of done um, uh, I can uh, users users should be able to hide from 
certain groups, let's say so, yeah. Uh, every post has an image, has an image. Every, uh, oh, we can say an image and a summary and description and title, maybe, yeah whatever you need in your post. Uh, user should be able to hide posts and okay. Well, let's say that's all, that's all the definition of done. That's all the definition of done that I have. I can save my story right now. And this is the finished story. This is the complete story, which is ready for the development. Everything else, uh, which doesn't contain a name of a role, which doesn't contain uh, what you need to do, which doesn't contain a result and doesn't contain clear definition of done, is a story which is not ready for development. Also, your story should be independent in terms that it should not be, um, it should not be blocked by other story. Each story which is blocked by a different uh, story is not ready for development. It cannot travel to a backlog of a sprint. It should stay in a backlog of a product until uh, the story that is blocking the previous one will be complete. So that's, uh, of course, this is a very simple story and I realized that they can be much more complex and uh, they can and the definition of done could be much more than just two but what you want to do as a product owner you you want to you want to divide your ideas you want to divide the functionality in, in 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 smaller pieces in so that because a smaller piece can be explained in a simple way the simpler you can explain your idea the less there is uh, the less room there is for misunderstanding so try to divide try to break down your product vision your epics your stories to such small parts which you can explain easily in one or two sentences and which you can in which you can support by four or five definitions of done try to do that and uh, when your story has the actual story and when your story has the definition of done then this is a story which is ready for development a story which only contains story is not ready for development a story which only contains the definition of done is not a complete story so if you want your development team to implement your vision be sure that you translate the vision clearly and this is the formula to do that